Well, greetings to my upper division students. I am here to chat with you a little bit more about specific practice techniques that you might find useful as you're digging into some deeper layers of musicality. Um, we always start with scales, right? We're gonna warm up. And I think it's probably needless to say at this point that you need to use your metronome when you're warming up. But I, my assumption is that you're well on your way and, and used to that by now. So when you're working through your scales, remember you're just gonna work on your, your current one, whatever it is that I've assigned you, three times. Three times is a really good solid start with your metronome. And then go back through one old one. And I don't care which one, but it's always good to be reviewing them, especially because you're gonna need all of them for your exam. So that's a really good way to keep yourself um, just in the middle of, of current, current with all your scales. And uh, of course, correct fingering is a must. Like I said, I'm guessing, I'm guessing I don't actually need to tell you all that. Moving into your repertoire. So I've got some level, uh, level seven books here and then all the way through level 10. Um, most of you that are in level 10 are just are choosing your own repertoire by this point. But they do have some really um, neat, neat songs in these books and genius that they finally spiral bound them. I think that's awesome. Okay. So just for kicks and giggles, let's let's take a level 10, um, a minuet. I'm on page 38. Who is this minuet by? Oh, it's like a whole dance suite. Sarah Bond, Orange Bay. Who is this? Okay, French Suite Number Six by Bach. That's what we're playing right now. And right now I'm in the minuet in the key of E major. Oh, uh, okay. So, I'm reading this for the first time. We're gonna go through it, just like I would expect you guys to. Okay, so those four bars. And of course you're looking for things like, did I play the correct note? <laughs> That's important. Did I play the correct finger? That's also important. Did I get an essence of the rhythm? I'm not like, Most of you don't do that anyways. I just figured it would be important to say. Am I getting the essence of the rhythm? Oops, that was wrong note. And even from this very beginning point, am I listening for good voicing? Am I bringing out the melody? Am I curving my phrases? Have I even noticed where my phrases are? That's an important question. This particular one starts out at piano and says to be played legato. So a little bit different for Bach, right? Because um, he doesn't have slurs over these notes. But, so we're gonna play piano. We're gonna voice. Those top notes. right especially when we get into 20th century music we, do, we just don't even know what's gonna happen okay um, all these things these techniques I'm of course talking with you in your lessons but these are really good things to be aware of to yourself I, I don't need to be the one to say bring out your melody right you can bring out your melody we can bring out those voicings we can find those phrases we can work on our pedaling um, recording yourself listening for the melody these are all just really good techniques once you've uh, started to learn the notes of course then we move into metronome practice and we're looking at doing small sections three times in a row correctly the first time with no mistakes and again these are practice techniques that we use all the time in class but just thought it would be good to check in and and clarify anything in case uh, in case there were any questions the last thing i always recommend is is go do your theory last one page per day is the expectation and um, it's a nice way to round out the end of your practice time doing your theory. At this point, you all have uh, at least level uh, hour-long classes, and so your practice time should be at least one hour, five times a, a week. So five hours per week is the minimum. And often, I would I could see you going over. 
um, 60, 90 minutes, or if you get another practice time in over the weekend, what that might look like. Uh, but you guys do such a great job of practicing and, and progressing, and I'm so honored and thrilled to be able to work with you all. You're an incredible bunch of students. Okay, so with that, keep up the good work, and uh, I will chat with you later.